I wanted to chat with you guys about everything. I want to talk to you guys about kind of the future here uh, on my YouTube channel, what, what I'm thinking and sort of what's been going on in my mind and my thought process for a long time now um, and where I feel like we shall be heading. I uploaded for two weeks in November and that was sort of to get me to stop overthinking, to get me to a place where I was just uploading regularly again, getting inspired, feeling like I had something to contribute to the internet. And I wanted to challenge myself to post every single day to see if it re-inspired me to get out of my own head and to upload. Well, at the end of that time, I actually, I broke my rib. I don't know if you guys saw the reel that I posted, it wasn't a reel, it was a YouTube short. And I posted about, I was riding my husband's dirt bike, I went down a steep hill and I was actually going really slow and I lost control of the wheel, hit the throttle, bike fell on top of me, felt my ribs snap. And just pain wise, uh, I was in a lot of it for the last two and a half weeks until I feel like I've gotten to the point where it's healing more now. It has been really painful up until really right now. So it's taken that long to just get to a point where I'm fine. It takes about six weeks to heal. I went to the doctor and uh, yeah, it's gonna take about six weeks. So, so I took some time because I was just in a lot of pain. It was a struggle to manage my day-to-day -day life without filming YouTube videos. It's really not a lot I could do, lift or anything. But during that couple of weeks that I've been not uploading, I've just been in deep thought and talking to my therapist, talking to my friends, talking to my husband, really trying to evaluate my future here online and what that even looks like for me. I, I don't even know. We're just gonna kind of go through it together. It's the end of the year and it is my last HelloFresh sponsorship for the year. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video. It's the end of four years now that we've been working together and it has been a really great partnership for me. So if you don't know who HelloFresh is, uh, they are meal delivery service. They deliver meals directly to your door each week and they come in an insulated box and in that box are the meals that you have pre-chosen. If you're looking for variety, they have over 35 recipes available to choose from each week. There is something to please everybody. You can choose from family friendly, fit and wholesome, or even veggie. Plus you can easily customize your meals by swapping out proteins or sides or upgrading your proteins or even adding a protein to a veggie meal. Quality is HelloFresh's priority and ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days so you know they're fresh. Whether you're hosting a holiday party or just stocking up on snacks, you'll find everything that you need HelloFresh market from quick breakfast to charcuterie boards and desserts. It's never been easier to prep for a party or fill your pantry. Today we were eating these zucchini boats and they were absolutely delicious. I am trying to eat a lower carb lifestyle. So for myself, I just omitted the rice, even though you see me eat a little bit of it here in the upcoming footage and is absolutely delicious. My son loved this one. We all did and we all ate the entire thing. <laughs> there was no leftovers from this one. Like I've said in many different videos, my favorite part of HelloFresh is just that I don't have to think about it. Uh, you're gonna hear me talk a lot in this video about mental load and stress and overwhelm. And uh, that is one thing that really helps me with HelloFresh. There is no overwhelm because you don't have to stress yourself about what you're gonna eat. You just know that the food is delicious and easy, quick and nutritious and really well balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's his name? Yeah. Mmm. So when mom's doing, try one bite. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. A plus. Taco boat. Oh. If you guys would like to check out HelloFresh, you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use code RAWBEAUTY18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. I thank you so much again to HelloFresh for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video and for continuing to partner with me now for four years and let's chat about the future of my youtube channel and myself i don't even know well you're all wet and you're dirty were you in the compost oh bro i'm just gonna be candid and honest with you here because i am tired of not doing it because of perception or what people might think about 
Ooh, I don't know. Five years ago, I saw a YouTube video and it was talking about the fastest ways to kill your YouTube channel. And they gave off examples. They gave examples of people who had killed their YouTube channels respectively and showed why that happened. And number one was to change your content. I had that stick in my head and it stuck a little too hard because for me, what that did was made me afraid of ever doing anything that wasn't makeup. My channel name is Raw Beauty Christy. And I put the beauty in there because when I created this YouTube channel 10 years ago, uh, that was what I lived and breathed. I wanted to try something new. I wanted to be a fresh voice in the beauty space, which was very, very small at that time. Created my channel strictly off of the passion and love of artistry and makeup. And I was 20, three, maybe 24. It was a long time ago. Uh, I am 30, almost five. And in that amount of time that I have been on YouTube, the amount of shift that has happened in me has been immense. I barely recognize the person that I was 10 years ago. It's very difficult for me to even see that person and feel any sort of connection to her whatsoever. But what had happened over the years is that I became engrossed in makeup. I became obsessed. It was the thing I thought about morning, noon, and night. I lived and breathed makeup. I went to makeup events, I went to eye mats. I would watch every makeup video that existed. All I would do was test out makeup. I'd get off of my 40 hour a week job, come home, put on makeup, wash it off, put on more, wash it off. I was doing makeup artistry. I was doing, doing SFX for fun. I was just mixing up different types of gelatin. I was following every Instagram page that I could. It was such a passion of mine that I became a makeup artist. I started doing wedding makeup, created a website for makeup artistry. I was posting three times a week on YouTube on top of my 40 hour week job, on top of doing makeup artistry, quit my job, became a professional YouTuber. Every single palette that came in the mail, I would swatch it. I would, oh, I would just watch review after review. I was making friends with people in the industry and oh, collabs. I did a collab with Pure Cosmetics, my first ever one in 2020. And then I did my second collab with ColourPop, which was just such a dream to do both of those. And then I got pregnant and then I gave birth and my entire world and focus changed. And I, took a few months off and when I came back, I, you know, I did my birth story and then I came back to makeup. I started posting makeup videos again. And it became increasingly more and more and more difficult for me to sit down and to do makeup because it felt disingenuous. I'm not a liar and I'm not somebody who puts on an image for the internet. I felt like every video that I was making was less and less authentic to who I am as a person. Because my focus just shifted so much. I went through the extremely difficult postpartum, a baby who wouldn't sleep, I wasn't getting enough sleep myself. I went through postpartum depression and anxiety and isolation. And so I stopped posting as often. And I started paying a lot of attention to analytics and short form content became really, really popular. And TikTok was taking over and I didn't jump on board when, I, when it did because I'm busy. I've got a little baby and I've got, you know, mental health issues and I'm struggling to just stay afloat in everyday life. And as time goes on, I am less and less and less interested in makeup because I simply don't have time for it. Um, but even so, my interests start to change. I start to become more into gardening and homesteading and just immersed into motherhood and going through matrescence, which is basically a term for like adolescence for teenagers, but it's me becoming a mom, you know, going from somebody who doesn't have this huge, immense crushing responsibility of taking care of another human life to learning how to manage my own self, whose interests are changing with managing a child and his development and his anonymity and having to work through myself and who I am as a person through amidst tantrums and meltdowns and such extreme happiness to such extreme isolation and loneliness and feeling the lowest I've ever felt in my life and the happiest I've ever felt simultaneously going to therapy, doing all of this and trying to pretend as though that stuff is not happening so I can put on makeup because that's what people want to see on my YouTube channel. You guys subscribe for makeup. This may not seem like that big of a deal to so many people, but when you have spent 
the entirety of 10 years online building your platform and making a niche for yourself that is a part of your identity and branding and name and past to shift your focus so heavily and to not be ready for that focus to shift but to have no say in it i can't help where i'm focusing it's really difficult for me to accept that this is where i am at it's really difficult for me to accept that i am different now i spent the entirety of 10 years working on this i reached a million subscribers on youtube and that was a huge goal of mine within two years of doing that you know the day i announced my pregnancy was the day that i hit a million subscribers on youtube and i know that a lot of people wanted to see my child i know that a lot of people subscribe for pregnancy the numbers speak for themselves uh, a lot of people subscribe for the pregnancy a lot of people subscribed for baby content a lot of people subscribed for the humor and the makeup and the testing out products and man oh man i love those videos they're so funny they were so fun to film just at this juncture in my life i don't feel like i am her that much anymore and it's quite devastating to me honestly i have lost a lot of who i once was i've gained oh my god so much at the same time this isn't a negative thing necessarily it's just really hard for me to accept because so much of my identity and self-worth lies in this career that I have built for myself online, this YouTube channel that I've poured my heart and soul into and worked so hard to grow. And it did, and it has, but it's really, really weird to feel like I hit my peak, my best self, my most successful self, and to see that as a part of my past instead of a part of my future. It's, it's really hard to accept um, and it is a part of being a presence online. It happens. And this is not just me. This isn't just my YouTube channel. A huge shift in the beauty community in general. I mean, some of the biggest people in the industry are either quitting YouTube or just in general seeing a huge shift in the way that things work. And I know that that's the case. And I know that all of you guys grow up and change too. It's not like all of you guys are also still 23 and I grew to 35. No. We all grow up, we all change. We're all changing right now and, and that's good. It's a good thing. It's just really hard to accept because it happened to me really effing fast because I don't think had I not become a mother, I would be feeling this way right now. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. It's just weird. It's weird to have something be such a fundamental part of your life and to now look at it like, I don't even wear makeup anymore. I wear a little bit here and there. I love the feeling of wearing it. When I am fully glam, I feel gorgeous. I feel powerful. I feel like it changes me as a person in a really good way. And I posted on my Instagram stories the other day and I said like, I don't know what to bring to the, to the internet anymore. I don't post because I don't, I'm gonna turn this heater on. It's really getting cold in here and these plants will die. The battery is dying. No, <laughs> my camera battery died. So you're on my phone. I posted on my Instagram stories that, uh, you know, I just don't really know what to bring to the internet anymore, what to, what I even bring to the table, what, you know, is my purpose. I feel like I, I tend to quite a lot of the time, not even add my two cents, not even talk because I don't even know what I have to add or who's listening or why. And so I tend not to in general. And I had so, so many DMs of people saying that, what I do bring to the table is important and they feel like, um, you know, I've helped them in many ways or I've been somebody that's been really helpful to their either mental health or their motherhood journey or with makeup or with animals, wildlife and rescue and all of that. And that's really important to me. You know, I need to remember that it's not all about going viral. It's not all about getting hundreds of thousands of views. It's not all about makeup. You know, life is so much more than that. And the majority of us, you know, you may like for personality stuff like that, like there's still gonna be humor. And I honestly feel like if I could just let this part of myself out and accept that this is where I'm at in my life, then I could accept that you guys might be here for another reason. And uh, it's impossible for me. I feel like it's for makeup or for nothing. And that's not, you guys are here for the review. You care about the actual product. Why don't you care about me? So I need to talk about makeup and makeup only, raw beauty, Christy. And everybody's like, yeah, but the raw and the Christy are way more than the beauty and we don't actually care. And then I overthink it because I just feel like I'm letting you guys down. And I feel at some point like I have to do what's good for me because 
when I feel inauthentic, I tend not to do anything because I don't want to do something that feels like I'm a liar and I'm not a liar. I hold that pretty near and dear. And so this isn't saying that I'm not gonna do makeup. It's just saying that I have to not be afraid of, I guess, losing subscribers, killing my YouTube channel, because it's who I am now, regardless of who I was before. That was a part of my story, but it's not the full story. It was who I was fully, and it's not fully who I am now. I am a mom now, and I can't expect to be the same as I was before. I can't expect it, why would I? Why should I stay the same? So I have to just know that that's just a part of it, and to accept it, and we're gonna be doing a lot more on our second channel. I've already got three videos filmed, ready, uploaded, scheduled to be posted. So if you don't follow our other channel and you are interested in more of the lifestyle, vlog style, homesteading, nature, then that'll be over on the Sweet Life of Zach and Christy. And for here, for now, I guess, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you want? I don't feel like I have much to add. I'm not a professional in anything. All I know is makeup, god damn it. The only thing I know that I feel like I'm professional at is putting on eyeshadow. And even that I feel like I've been surpassed by the greats of them all. TikTok beauty influencers, you kidding me? These people are amazing. I can't help it. I didn't know when I got pregnant what would happen, you know? And what happened was it became my identity to be a mom and I'm not mad about it. I just don't understand it. It's effing with me in a good way. I love it. I love being a mommy. It is the best thing of my life. It simultaneously made me go, who, who even are you? What do you even like? I don't know. What can I do? Well, here I am. Just being honest, saying, fuck it. That's right, Benny. Get him. Sorry about the barking. You're just gonna have to deal with it. He's a dog, ain't it? What do you guys wanna see me talk about? I have a lot to say. I just don't say anything because I'm not an expert. I'm not a physicist. I'm not a childhood development expert. I'm just a lady who has a kid who lives in the woods, who tries to homestead her best, who builds compost, who di likes gardening. But I don't, I don't feel like I know enough about any of it to talk about any of it. So on my Sweet Life channel, we just kind of talk about it like real blase, real, real like novice beginners. But on this channel, what do I say? What do I do if it's not makeup? I don't know anything about myself. Do you know about me? I'm not saying I'll never be makeup again. I'll probably do lots of get ready with me's because I'm getting ready and talking about my life. But it's really just like, it's the reviews. It's the, it's the stuff you probably subscribed for and I'm sorry. so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.